and welcome back YouTube. This is Mr. Maxbuster here with some more Splatoon 2 online gameplay. If I had timed it right, today's video should be a very special video. But before I say anything more, let's find out what our the uh, duo of Pearl and Arena have to say. And as it looks, it looks like I did time it. Y'all feeling fresh out there? We're off the hook, coming at you live from the middle of Inkopolis Square. <clears throat> which creature are you? Which creature are more majestic? Unicorns are narwhals. Head over to the Splatfest terminal and pick a side. I already have, but the Splatfest. And the Splatfest stages are... Marina, Marina! The statue's eyes glow at night! I swear I saw them glow! Pretty sure those are just Judd's and little Judd's eyes. Alright. So looks like we got... Turf War on Inkblot Art Academy. Yo, at night, the Ferris wheels all like sparkly and junk. You're so adorable, Pearl. And it's also Wahoo World. We made a special stage for this Splatfest. You helped make the stage? That's amazing, Marina! And now a word from our sponsor, Grizzco Industries is now hiring. Let's work a salmon run later, or let's work a salmon shift later, Pearl. Until next time, don't get cooked, stay off that hook. And... It's Splatfest! Unicorns versus Narwhals. This is the second to last Splatfest. And I gotta say, I am very sad. It's been a very fun run, but all, as they say, all good things must come to an end. I joined the party late, but I'm happy. I at least got to enjoy it some before it went away. Because for those who don't know, the next Splatfest is the last one. And I'm going to enjoy this Splatfest today. And one thing I love about the Splatfest days, it's like a super jamming party. You get the upbeat, you got Judd and Little Judd just dancing their behinds off. You get all the little jellyfish just happy as can be. You had everybody supporting their side. It's just a fun environment. And, uh, if Splatoon 3 ever comes out, I hope they bring back the, uh, the Splatfest, because these uh, are an amazing thing. And, uh, one other thing I love about Splatfest, look right up here. You got up here. Let me see if I can get a better view. Come on. There we go. A little bit better. We got Marina running the DJ booth, laying down some fresh dance moves. And then you got Pearl singing, all acting as the group's idol. Just amazing. Just really cool. Alright. So with the introduction out of the way, I am Team Narwhal. Now let's hopefully win some games for our side tonight. I have a feeling Team Narwhal is the more popular team, but I but popularity does not uh win you the Splatfest. That's only one-third of the battle. Alright, let's do this. I'm using the same getup as last time as far as 
uh, item I'm using. So we got the Team Narwhal, we just have to wait for Team Unicorn. The only bad thing about this is that, about waiting for this, is you have to wait for an opposing team to show up, and if the teams are unbalanced, sometimes it takes a lot longer to get games readied up. Especially if you're on the team that has much more, as opposed to the team that has fewer uh, members. So, I might be sitting in the menus for a while, and that's okay. I could talk to you guys for a little bit. I watched Nintendo's E3 press conference, and I gotta say there's a lot of great games announced there that I'm super excited for. Uh, first thing I want to make note of, Luigi's Mansion 3. I enjoyed the first Luigi's Mansion. I never really got to play the second one. Um, but the third one looks interesting. I like the fact that it's multiplayer. That's That should be a lot of fun. Nintendo games are always better multiplayer for them. Uh, but, I don't know, it, something about it just... It, it doesn't seem to have the charm that the original seemed to have. Oh, is this the uh, special map? If so, I have no idea what this map is like. Ooh, I, uh, I got splatted. That's rough. Yeah, go ahead. So how are these going to be uh, determined? Because they roll up so they're not always facing up. So I don't know how that's going to be determined at the end. That's going to be interesting to see how that calculates. And all you got to do is slide up once and then boom, it's yours. I find that interesting. Go! Oh! I just... I ran into a trap! It was a trap! I should have realized it was a trap. Water level dropping? What does that mean? Oh, there's a whole bunch of new area to ink? That's... Interesting, so there's late game areas that also need to be inked. That's interesting. It adds a whole new element because sometimes you can get a lot of area, most of the area inked pretty early on, but this like waits until like the halfway point of the match. That's interesting. So it's like, do you, do you take the time to ink that area or do you, uh, Continue to press the uh, the opposition. That's an interesting mechanic. Why am I doing this? I have charge. Frick you, fricker. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Sometimes I get a little agitated at myself. We're not doing well. I was on a... I don't know what it... Where are you? Snake in the grass! Come back! Yeah, I hit a charger. I had no chance. Went after the wrong opponent there. And I lose. Wonderful. Good way to start. Get Just demolished by the opposing team. <sighs> At least it wasn't a multiplayer battle. Or a multiplier. Multi plier. A doubler battle. Why isn't it Yeah, that poor performance on my end. Let's gear up again. Uh. 
But yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3, it, it just doesn't seem to have the charm that the other ones have. Uh, the original one was a lot of fun to play. I enjoyed trying to collect all the pieces to get the, uh, the mansion locked at the end. That was a lot of fun. I could never get the final mansion. Uh, I got, like, the second or third best house, but I could never get the actual mansion. Because you had to do a, you had to do really, really well in that game in order to get the mansion unlocked. Um, what else was there? No More Heroes 3. Super excited about that. I am... I honestly cannot believe that they were making a No More Heroes 3. That's amazing. And I think, is it a Switch exclusive? I'm not 100% sure about that, but if it is, that's going to be a game that's going to, I think, sell nowhere near as much as it should. It has this cult following, and I'm excited for it, but uh, I just don't see it getting the amount of sales that it should, because No More Heroes is a fantastic franchise. Um, what else is there? Uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening remake. Not sure how I feel about that. The art direction is much more different than I was hoping. Personally, I kind of wish, wish that they did Wind Waker style graphics. I think that would have been amazing. But, uh, you know, I guess it is what it is. The art direction is just a bit off-putting for me. But then again, people said that about Wind Waker when it came out. But I love that. I don't know. I guess I have to... I mean, if it's just a remake with just different graphics and nothing added to it, I don't know. But if I actually add stuff to it, I'll have to see the extra content that they add to the game. That's one item that I never cared for, the person ahead of me has, the pop cannon. I, I do not like that particular uh, one. I don't know. Just not for me, I guess. That, that's a terrible way to start. I despise two weapons in this game. The charge cannon and the paintbrush. I know, the paintbrush should... I shouldn't because it's easy to dodge, but... I don't know what it is, but... I get demolished by the paintbrush a lot. It's annoying. Especially for people that are snakes in the grass and have a... silent moving. Where they're... Where you can't be... or where you don't make any, uh... movements while in your... squid form. Yeah. Those people can go, uh... Not a big fan of those people. Oh, I thought that was climbable. Never mind. Oh, that's, uh, not a fun area. Uh, sometimes with this lighting, it's kind of hard to tell what, uh, what's what. Run, 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 run. I love the night light, but man, it's kind of hard to tell what's what sometimes. You lose. Jump up that way. Of course, they would block it, wouldn't they? Did 
Did we win? I think we won. Oh, we demolished. I wonder if a person. I wonder if a person left or they were down a person to start. Because that's a pretty, pretty big victory. See, uh, you you can't tell if people left during these matches. So that's a little bit annoying. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost to the next level. Ah, uh, but yeah, Link's Awakening. Not quite sure how I feel about that game yet. Uh what else was announced? I'm super pumped for Astral Chain. Once that game comes out, I'm that's almost a day one buy for me. That game looks amazing. Uh Damon X Machina, I'm still on the fence about that I noticed Nintendo's been hyping every time they have a conference they mentioned Damon X Machina, so that game is something they are really, really hoping does well. So I I mean, it, it looks like a fun mech game, and I, I like the art style, but how much different is it going to be from your Armor Core series or other mech games like that? You know, uh, Mech Assault or, uh, you know, just your other mech based games. Although it seems like it's been a while since they've had a decent mech based game, so we're going to do for one. Ah, uh, what else is there? Animal Crossing. I'm intrigued. It takes place on an island, so I'm kind of, I kind of like that idea. But how do you gain neighbors? Are other people are you, are you gonna try try to turn into like a tourist resort or maybe like a place, maybe just like a habitable a habitable island that other people want to join? Uh oh, the other team's on a two win streak. I didn't even realize that it tells that. That's kind of cool. So we gotta do really well if we wanna beat these guys. And run away. I'm sorry, but if you get hit by a level one uh, tank like that, or not tank, but uh, what do you call it? Missile? Uh, not very good. Now if it's an upgraded one, that's different, because upgraded ones... Those ones are like silent, they come down almost instantly, they'll give any warning. That's different if you get hit by that. Oh, uh, why do I talk? Of course. Ho ho ho, there I go. Why do I even talk? One thing that I really don't like is, it seems like my character has absolutely no armor and I get splatted by everything instantly! Well that was just ganged up on, I had no chance there. Why? Every time! Oh, here comes the rage. I swear. A character. No. Snakes in the grass, all of you! All you do is wait there for someone to come up and then you shoot. That is... Oh, I hate that so much! 
can't fight me like men or women. You can't fight me like a Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hate it so much. Of course, these are probably so terrible. And the thing is, you can't tell if somebody left or not. That annoys me. Of course, you have a level one person. That annoys me so much. If you, like, in these fly fests, you can't tell if somebody left. Because then at least you could blame them. See, it's rough when, uh, when you're stuck with randoms and you face a team that's a cohesive team, then you, you might as well just put, uh, put up the bags and call it a day, because you, you can't beat that. If you're facing a cohesive team, you're toast. You're, you're, uh... Your toast. <sighs> Sorry, sometimes I get a little bit ragey. I don't know why, but this game seems to bring out the rage in me. Especially when we're losing 62 to 16%. It brings a little rage out in person, you know? Uh, but let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's... Okay, let's give it a try. I just want to make the narwhals win, man. I just want to make the narwhals win. Narwhals are better than unicorns. At least narwhals are real. Oh boy, that's a good start. That's that's a spicy start. That's just me not knowing the map. Here comes the missiles. Let's have a little bit of reconnaissance here. My reconnaissance didn't go as planned. I guess my head on assault wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Booyah, bros! That guy's in a ball. Balls are so annoying. But I kind of like them at the same time.
No, 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 no. I thought he was a bit further away. I was going to try to sneak over and get some easy turf score. Eh, we won though, so that's the main thing. Teams, teammates did some work. I didn't do so. I didn't do too good though. That kind of sucked. I'm not gonna lie. All right, moving up the ladder. Excuse me. I apologize if that caught on camera. Alright. Uh, one or two more rounds and then I'm calling it a video. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. If you're playing this uh, Splatfest, what team you're for. Because I would like to know if you were for Team Unicorn or for Team Narwhal. I had to choose Narwhal because I like sea creatures and... Narwhals are real. Um... And also let me know if you guys are interested in any of the upcoming Nintendo games that have been announced recently. Uh, besides the ones that I mentioned so far, I'm trying to think of the other ones that were announced. But yeah, Animal Crossing, I'm intrigued by it. Because it's been a long time since there's been a proper Animal Crossing game. And one for the Switch just makes a lot of sense. You could hook it up to your TV, relax, unwind, you could take it on the go if you need to go. It's just what Animal Crossing is built for. It's like the perfect system for Animal Crossing. Never fails. Hide, hide, hide. Thank you, teammate. You bailed me out. Guy was just laying in the weight. As per usual. That guy just jumped off. No, oh, I thought he jumped off. Whoops, that's my bad. I thought he jumped off. That was my bad 100%. Took you down, you SOB. Go back to where once you came. That 
Thank you, teammate. You took care of that guy for me. My teammates are so kind. To see, I'm not very good at this game. Where were you at? I think we lost. Oh, we won. Woo! I was going to say, how did we lose that? I thought we had a good run. Uh, I got stuck with a level one. -er. Now, you always have to give credit to new people because they're new to the game. you got to give them leeway, but... When you get stuck with a level 1 on a splat piss, that that's always a bit rough. But I can understand them wanting to play because it's the final splat fest. They want to have some fun before it's over. Or not the final, the second to last splat, splat fest. I want to play before it's over. I can understand it. Now what does clout do? I never understood that. Does that go overall for, uh... I just don't know what that does. Team Unicorn won 100 times battle, are you serious? Uh, that's rough. That's rough. Well, this will be the last game for the video, if we can get one fired up here. We had a lot of the same teammates throughout most of this, so that's kind of fun. It's good when you can keep a lot of the same teammates, because you can, uh... At least... Understand their playstyle. off to a swimming start. We're facing a six win streak team and we're down a person. This ain't gonna go well at all. Paintbrusher! How oh, I despise you so. Come on. Come join us. I hate paintbrushes so much. So much. Talk about the absolute worst timing imaginable. Sorry. 
I hate paintbrushes so much. They are the bane of my existence. Why? Because I ran into an incredible combo team war. Are you snake in the grass? Oh, I just wanna. Oh, you don't know what I wanna do. I shouldn't say what I wanna do because it probably wouldn't be liked by the censors. I knew it! Snake in the grass! All you do is hide. All you do is hide. Oh, I just wanna... I really wanna do things to you that I probably shouldn't say. When you're down a person, it just sucks. I just lost all morale. I hate it so much when people quit. You know what? We can't end it like that, though. I'm gonna do one more game. I gotta do better than that. Come on. This is gonna be extra long Splatoon 2 episode. <sighs> Sucks so much! What does Checkmar mean by him? Just ready up, I guess. I'd like to level up a few levels in this uh, battle because this Splatfest is only one day, and I want to try to level up as much as I can. With only a few Splatfests left, I want to try to level up as much just basically get as much uh, material as I can before it's gone. Extra rewards and everything. <sighs> Maybe our opposition won't be insanely good this time. Maybe we'll have a full team this time. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I just get so aggravated sometimes. Did it say we had a three win streak? Uh, yeah. Did you see our last game? No, we did not have a three win streak at all. We may have won three games, but we don't have a three win streak, that's for sure. Bubbler. I thought about using that weapon. Snake in the grass. All the rollers are snakes in the grass. Because I can't hit you from long range, you may know it. Okay, that was the stupidest death on my part. I should not, that should not have happened. What is going on? Why are we losing so terribly? I don't understand losing, but come on, what's going on? Nothing I could do. Honestly, I don't know what I was trying to do there. Mm. 
How do they respawn so quickly? How? It's like they're gone for two seconds and then they're back. I'm gone for like ten seconds. Are you kidding me? How did that... So quickly. It took like two shots. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm getting aggravated again. So bad. One shot! One shot! That's all it took. One shot. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. We had no chance. I, I don't know what they were doing. But they just demolished us. One more. Hey, Team Narwhal won a 100 point battle, finally. Something went right. This is probably the most rage filled episode I've had on my channel on anything. I apologize for those who don't like rage, but. Some, uh, something about this game just makes my. just gets my goat just makes my blood boil. It just makes me see red. I don't know, it seems like as soon as I, as soon as I see warning and we're losing by a lot, it's like all of a sudden I, I just start to get angry. So I apologize for those that don't like rage. Personally, I'd be laughing. I'd be laughing a lot. I'd be like, oh my god, this is so funny. Because you're because people's misery is usually good for a laugh. So if I make somebody laugh out there, hey, then maybe it, maybe it's not such a bad thing. Run, run, run. That's a ball, and that's going to kill me. I was well far away. You should not have been able to do that. Danger. Wonderful. What a... Frickin' roller. Thank you for the free points. Now tell me, why is a person protected when they're doing that? No other super protects a person except for when they're in the ball. That's ridiculous, if you ask me. They should not be protected while they're doing that. Why? Why does that have such a long range? Yeah, take that, you MFR. -er. 
All we do is get rolled. All we do is get rolled. This is ridiculous. F you. Go to the underworld and enjoy it. Frickin' doolies. Frickin' doolies. This team sucks. I suck. I'm not ending it like this. We're gonna have a close game. Or an overwhelming victory. I'm not gonna end it like this. Why is every team I on... Crap. We're going to play another one. Time to bring out the rolling ball. This map and me do not have a good history. I have lost so many times on this map. Kidding me? How do they charge it up so quickly? How? I thought I was doing a pretty good job, and it's like, oh, I get mine off before you. How? We're in danger yet again. Wonderful! You can never escape the danger zone. Great song, but terrible in this game. This team just sucks! Why didn't it explode? I hit the Z. I hit the button.
Go, 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 go. That's how you play the game. We still lost, but at least it's much closer. Oh, we won! Yes! I couldn't take another loss, guys. <sighs> All right, guys. That's a wrap. Well, this has been Booster Box Buster with some Splatoon 2, Splatfest, Narwhals vs. Unicorn, Rage Session, signing out.